Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Farming Weather Outlook updated on Monday the 24th of June. Thanks again for watching. It's um, going to be thundery at first this week as many of you will already know and quite a muggy start as well. Things do look like they improve during the middle to latter stages of the week. There'll be a few showers later on but it looks like being fresher. Now just keep your eye on this forecast and monitor it carefully because there are subtle changes that are taking place and there's just some hints some early stage hints that actually we could be in for um, some fairer weather during the early stages of next week but that still is a developing situation if you want to know more about that and get a forecast specifically for your farm then give us a call on farming weather live these are the numbers that you need to call we're here between 8 a.m and 5 p.m seven days a week there's two sets of numbers here for you one is if you're farming in the uk which is that one the other one is if you're farming in ireland which is that one um, so you can give us a call on either number um, and uh, we can give you a forecast specifically for your farm if you tell us when you phone tell us uh, your postcode and also what you're looking to do and what forecast you're looking for ie you know I want a forecast for the next couple of days or a forecast for the next couple of weeks please do let us know it makes the call go quicker and we can forecast for you from a few hours to several days to several weeks ahead always great to speak to you of course you can get the seasonal forecast and our latest thoughts constantly updated through the day here at weatherweb premium we've got daily videos we've got our seasonal outlooks we've got our expert forecasts and you can get a free three-day trial so just go to join now sign up and you can get a free trial fill your boots with the forecasts see if it's for you but uh, we've got loads of farmers who are using that service thousands of farmers in fact and uh, they find it incredibly useful so uh, thanks for your continued support so there's the forecast then for this afternoon um murky thundery through this afternoon particularly scotland northern england and ireland a little bit drier towards the south for a time but here we might find some more thundery outbreaks of rain pushing their way northwards as this afternoon progresses so it's a changeable situation through the course of this afternoon you're probably feeling that mugginess already and that will last overnight tonight into tuesday some more heavy periods of rain passing their way northwards during the course of tuesday most of them we think central and eastern areas again thundery at times local 30 to 40 millimeter downpours are possible further west showers get going again some heavy ones across ireland possibly across western wales as well but they'll tend to be more scattered there'll be some brighter spells out towards the west still quite a muggy feel to things particularly in the southeast we could be looking at 30 degrees here but across uh, northern and western areas a little bit cooler 21 degrees although 23 in ireland on to wednesday things start to improve wednesday rigid high pressure is going to be building in on wednesday and that brings the promise of better conditions i think drier overall but across the far south of england cloud here some drizzle some outbreaks of rain possibly moving in still muggy here at 23 degrees elsewhere drier probably fresher as well 19 degrees in western scotland 22 degrees across ireland where it's also dry 21 degrees across the west of england and wales pretty windy in the south and then east to northeasterly which will be quite strong but much lighter winds towards the north now on thursday fronts are across the south again on thursday strong easterly winds through thursday across southern areas and we might find some thundery outbreaks of rain into southern parts of ireland possibly into southwest england as well i'm thinking this is probably more drizzly than anything else eastern coast feeling cooler thanks to the east and northeast wind coming in from the sea 16 degrees here elsewhere dry bright decent spells of sunshine best of the sunshine always out towards the west we could be looking at 26 degrees across western scotland more typically 22 to 24 degrees for most and then on to friday high pressure off towards the eastern friday front passes its way northwards through ireland into southwestern parts of england i think some showers may occur here but i think more likely across central and northern parts of ireland elsewhere it's dry but again we're going to watch for a very low chance of a shower perhaps over the hills of the southern midlands wales western parts of scotland 27 degrees is possible across western scotland we're looking at 27 across southeast england and uh, i think anywhere though down those eastern coasts cooler with the winds off the sea at 16 degrees at 24 in western parts of ireland probably near 20 in the east 
And then on to Saturday. Well, the heat's starting to build again on Saturday across many southern and eastern areas. Generally, it looks dry, but with these troughs hanging around down towards the southeast, I just can't rule out the chance of catching an odd thunderstorm. We could be looking at 31 degrees across southeastern parts of England. I think more typically across many areas, though, it should be a little bit fresher for Ireland and Western Scotland. Some showers pushing in here from the southwest, 21 degrees across Ireland, 20 degrees across Western Scotland. Elsewhere, generally dry and temperatures typically between about 20 and 24 degrees. And then headed in towards Sunday. Um, this chart showing lower pressure up towards the north. I think it will be, but I'm not sure that it'll be quite as dramatic as this chart is trying to show. I think we'll find showers, most of them towards the north and the west. Fairly scattered across western England and Wales, but heavier across Ireland and across western parts of Scotland. Drier towards the south and towards the east, and a fresher feeling day for everyone. 23 degrees in southern England, probably looking at around 14 in western Scotland, with quite a strong westerly breeze blowing. So it's quite a mixed week, and as I say, into the following week, it looks like this high pressure down towards the southwest may start to make its presence felt. For more information, give us a call on Farming Weather Live, where we can give you a forecast specifically for your farm. Always great to hear from you on that service. OK, I will leave you with that for now, uh, but we'll update as usual on Thursday. But whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.